Hey YouTube, so today I'm going to show you how to create a spinning uh, trap inside of your Roblox Studio game. Uh, this is really useful for obbies, uh, and yeah, let's get into it. So first of all, I'm going to create a cylinder. Uh, this is going to be the part that actually does the damage, so I'm going to make it red, and I'll make it neon, and then I'll just make it a bit longer, and I'll make sure that this part is not anchored, make sure that can collide is off and I'm gonna name this part damage damager and then I'll add a script inside of it this script is going to be used to damage the player whenever they hit this part so first I'm going to have my uh, cooldown variable and then I'm going to do script.parent.touched so whenever the somebody touches the uh, part we're going to connect a function to that uh, using the hit parameter, which refers to whoever is touching the part. And then we're going to check if that person or that thing hitting the part actually is a character. So we're going to look for a humanoid inside of it. So if there's a humanoid and not cooldown, so if cooldown is equal to false, then we want to set cooldown equal to true. Uh, then we want to do damage to the player. So do hit, oh sorry, hit the parent, not hit find first child. There we go. Then find first child humanoid, colon take damage, and then whatever amount of damage you want, I'll do 25. And then I'm going to wait one second to put cooldown back to false. And that's all for the damage script. Let's go ahead and test that real quick to make sure that it actually works. So that we don't have any errors. Uh, where's the part? Oh yeah, we. it's going to fall through the ground because we set it to can't collide is false. Well, let's go ahead and test this. Make sure it does damage. There we go. So that part works just fine. Set it back to not anchored. So now we want the middle part that is going to like hold all of these beams together. So it's just going to be another cylinder that's going to be larger. Something like that. Uh, maybe not quite as tall as that, but maybe like this. I think that looks pretty good. Now we want to put this on the side of our cylinder. So what I'm going to do is just copy the position of this, then set it the position of this to that. And then I'm going to just move this over to the side. And then what you can do is just duplicate that, move it to the other side. And then you can grab these two, duplicate it, and rotate it with Control R. So now we have four beams. You could do this again. Uh, you could like have eight beams if you want. You could duplicate it and then just rotate it like this. And that would look pretty cool. For this example, I'm only using four. And so now we have these five parts here. Uh, we have this middle part, which is supposed to hold all of them together. And in order, to, in order to do that, we actually have to weld all of them. So a quick way of welding a bunch of parts together is just by using a plugin. Uh, the, I, have, I have this plugin right here. It lets me weld all. I'll try to find it and give a link in the description for this plugin. But basically, uh, once you install that plugin, just click on Weld All. And so now all of these parts are welded. There we go. And now we want to spin this middle part around so that everything around it also spins. So add a script inside of the middle part. And this is really simple. Just do a while loop. So while wait do and then we're going to set the C frame of the part equal to its own C frame times a new angle value so times C frame dot angles so this is going to change the rotation of the part we're just going to do math dot radian and then put a one in there so we're going to uh, rotate the part by one radian or one angle I should say And so let's go ahead and test this out. And as you can see, 
we're a bit far away from the part but it is rotating around and once we get to the part you'll see that uh, when I do touch these beams they will do damage to me and yeah let's go ahead and test that I can jump over them and it doesn't do damage but yeah if I hit them it does damage to me it's spinning around just like we wanted to but yeah that's pretty much it for the tutorial please do leave a like if you actually liked it and yeah that's it bye <laughs>